In this video, we are going to show you this portable inflator pump provided by Vogma for review. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Greg and in this channel, I create product reviews, mods, install guides of cool car accessories and gadgets. Transparent design allows you to see the motor and the motherboard. Measuring at 2.5 inches by 5.75 inches by 1.85 inches thick. Weighs in at 450 grams. Has a built-in 4000 milliamp lithium ion battery which charges in about 2.5 to 3 hours. Or you can use your cigarette plug power adapter, assuring you are not left without power when needed. The cord is 9.8 feet long. You can plug the cigarette power cord on the bottom, next to the vent. On top, you have your 5 volt, 2 amp USB Type-C input used to charge the device. Right next to that, you have your 5 volt, 2 amp output which charges other device. USB type A. Here we have your LED light with two light modes. Press this button to control. You have your always on. Press again and you have your SOS. This here is where you screw in your tube. Includes your storage bag charging cable, two fuses, and different kinds of nozzles, and your user manual. Easy to read LED screen. Here we have your real-time pressure, and here we have your preset pressure data. This is your battery level, and on top you have five preset modes. Press the R to select. You have your car, your motorcycle, your bicycle, balls, and your manual selection. On the side here, you have four pressure units. Hold down the R to select. Right now, we are on bar. Hold down, PSI. Hold down, KPA. Hold down again. We're at kilograms per meter. If you're interested in this product, I'm going to leave the product link in the description below. Okay, here we have your larger all-terrain tire. We're gonna go ahead and plug in the nozzle. Right now, we have a live reading of 26.3 PSI. We're on automotive and we wanna get it to 36 PSI. It does have an automatic shutoff when desired pressure is used. Here we have your bike tire. The PSI on this one is 35. We're going to go ahead and take your nozzle, plug it right in, lock it into place, turn on the unit. Right now we're on automotive. We're going to go ahead and change that to bicycle. That's your motorcycle. And there's your bicycle. The default value is 45 PSI. We're going to go ahead and change that to 35. Let it blink three times to save. And go ahead and press start.
Here I have a completely deflated basketball. We're gonna go ahead and insert our needle. The PSI for this basketball is seven to 10 PSI. Now you just wanna take the needle and go ahead and insert it into the ball. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the unit. We're on bicycle, we're gonna go ahead and change that to your ball. Right now it's at eight PSI, we're gonna max it out at nine. Let it blink three times to save. Once it's saved, we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. If you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll bring you more content just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.